under promise and over deliver. It's a strategy many successful companies emulate. But when one small business made the mistake of over promising and never delivering, customers asked inside investigations to get involved. This is the best house on the market. You can't get nothing better than this. <laughs> I promise you, I bet my last dollar. That promise was reason enough for Angelica Haven to take advantage of Mink Wig's advertised special. But I also saw on their Instagram page that they had this promotion, this birthday sale, where I can get like $100 or $200 off a wig. Angelica says the cool online videos, the quality of the product, and quick delivery made the wig appear worth the price, $425 paid directly to the owner via Cash App. I thought I had found the holy grail of wigs. But when the wig wasn't delivered in the promised amount of time, Angelica got curious. After not hearing back from him, I looked at other websites, other reviews, and I was shot that other people are getting scammed too. There's this one case where this person was, has been waiting since two years for her wig. She also discovered this online mea culpa from the business owner, explaining how his business grew faster than he could fill orders. And it was getting so big and it was kind of growing out of control. But a lot of orders that I thought were getting filled were not being fulfilled. But instead of slowing down and meeting those orders, it appears he kept taking cash and orders he couldn't deliver. How frustrating is this for you? It's a little, it's a little frustrating, but mostly embarrassing because I don't, I never thought I would fall for a scam. After three months of failed attempts to get a refund, inside investigations accompanied Angelica to the social media influencer's storefront. Hi there, here to see Jacorian. But the business owner, who never seems to shy away from a camera, wouldn't come out of hiding to listen to Angelica's concerns. Angelica would like to know when she can get her money back. $425, she bought a mink wig in March. March? Then I... If you have a car, I can have him call you. Well, he's right behind that door, so we'd like to talk with him because she All can't right, reach him. So you have to leave. But, but, but she took, he took her money. All right, you have to leave. But you How do you stop. feel about that? It's not my business. Well, you're working here. Right, but that's not my business. You guys have a phone number? Oh, okay. So when he is ready to quit hiding behind that door, would you have him call me and I'll get you a car? All right. Angelica, do you feel as though he was hiding behind that door, didn't want to talk to you? Exactly. I never seen him before, but he posts probably almost every single day on Instagram. Uh, so he loves the camera, just, I guess, not your camera. Despite being unable to get her money back, Angelica says she has a plan B. I can call the police, write a police report, and also take them to small claims court. I also plan to hopefully gather other people who have been scammed by him and uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe do a class action suit against a company, uh, who knows? And our team at Inside Investigations will be there with Angelica every step of the way.